South Africa offers so many diverse experiences that make it one of the best countries to visit in the world. However, before you visit, there are a few things you need to know. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide and today we are sharing these things to know before visiting South Africa. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure you hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So the first thing to know about South Africa is not to worry about the language. It is great to learn some basic greetings and sayings, but if you speak English, you should be able to travel well. Many South Africans speak English, whether it is a first or second language, so you should be able to communicate with others in most situations. The next thing to know is when to visit. South Africa can be visited all year round, but check the weather ahead of booking to pack accordingly. November to February offer warm and dry weather, whilst July to November is cold and windy, but a great time for whale watching. Another thing to know is that South Africa is huge. The country is massive, so don't expect to see it all unless you are here for an extended period of time. Something worth knowing is that the cities are modern. The cities in South Africa are modern and developed. You can expect fantastic restaurants, five-star hotels, markets, museums and shopping malls. You will have to travel outside of the cities to get to the game reserves and the nearby villages to spot wildlife. The next thing that you need to know about South Africa is the diversity. South Africa offers so many different things to see and do, including safaris, skiing, vineyards, canyons, and bustling city life. Enjoy all sides of the country, and if you can, plan longer than you think you'll need. Another great thing about South Africa is that you can travel on a budget. Travel prices are considerably cheaper in South Africa than they are in the West, so traveling can be cheap. Now my next tip for visiting South Africa is to try the food. The country is home to some amazing food, but also diverse options to choose from. From markets to eateries to fine dining, there are lots of great choices for you to choose from, whether you want to try some traditional dishes or Western fusions. Now a really important thing to know about South Africa is their visas. South Africa offers a 90 day visa free option for some nationalities, including Europeans, Canadians, Australians, New Zealanders and Americans. Check out the DHA website to see if you need a visa, I will leave the link in the description below. Now let's talk about safety. South Africa is safe but use your common sense. Keep your valuables locked up in the hotel safe and don't flaunt expensive electronics or jewellery. Moving on to how you can get around South Africa. The best way to get around the country is by renting a car. Taxis aren't always readily available here and the public transport is limited. However, you can use Uber and taxis when you're in the big cities to get around. These are cheap and we recommend using them if your hotel or hostel suggests it. Another tip is to take a filter water bottle. Water in the city is safe to drink, but that is not the case for the smaller towns. Bring a filtered water bottle to stay safe and keep hydrated. Another thing to think about when you're planning your trip is to stay in a lodge. There are many reserves in South Africa with lots of lodges and camps to choose from. If you have the budget, try and spend at least one night in a camp. They are gorgeous and offer a unique experience. Another thing to think about is travel insurance. Make sure you book your travel insurance before you visit. We use World Nomads for all of our travels with extensive affordable plans that can be booked with little advance notice. We will leave a link in the description below if you're looking to book some travel insurance before you go.
Another thing to note is that safaris are pricey but worth it. Your biggest expense for attractions in South Africa is the game reserves. They cost a lot but they are totally worth it and a once in a lifetime experience. And my last thing to know is that South Africa is laid back. The country is a laid back, slow paced destination, so don't expect people to be rushing around. Embrace the slow pace and relax. So we hope you have an incredible time in South Africa. Tell us what you are looking forward to doing in the comments below. Take care, thanks for watching and until next time, stay creative.